Hey everybody and welcome back. This is another wedding vlog. So today I promised you guys some questions and answers so I will get to them today for you. Um, I know I look a little bummed out but it is Sunday and normally Sunday, I normally don't film on Sundays for starters um, but it's been a crazy week so I've had both jobs on my butt so I haven't really gotten a chance to get on to my normal usual schedule. But I'm back to schedule this week so your video will be out on Friday as usual. This is just an exception to the rule. But we do have another exception to the rule coming up. In, I think, two weeks, I'm going to Arizona. So I will not be posting videos. I probably won't be posting videos for those two weeks that I'm in Arizona. But we'll see. Maybe Zach will let me post videos while I'm there. We'll see. Um, so let's get to the questions and answers. I don't want to wait anymore. So, um, first one is from... 686 Tay Tay, and they said, How long were you and Zach, AK Spartan Killer, together before he proposed? And actually, that's a great question to answer today because today is our one year anniversary. So, me and Zach have been together for one year. We've known each other a little longer than a year, but we've been officially together for a year. And so, tonight we are celebrating, and I'm super excited. It sucks that we can't celebrate together, but that's what Skype's for, right? <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of you that are in long distance relationships totally understand what it's like. Um, and it gets a little stressful at times, but no fear, as long as you're communicating and talking all the time and keeping up to date with things together, that things will just work out. So, no fear. Um, and so, I guess we've been together um, before he proposed. I guess that was, what, two months ago? So, two or three months ago from a year, uh, we've been together. <laughs> That's about as good as it gets for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was a thing. <laughs> But, I mean, honestly, it really doesn't matter how long you've been together or how little you've been together before you decide to get married. Um, it's kind of more responsible of, it's a more of a responsibility of choice and um, how mature you are mentally and physically. And so, um, I know a girl that's been, they've been together for six months and they got engaged. And so, she's having a wedding this year and congrats to her, that's awesome. And then I know a couple who have been together for five to six years and they've just gotten engaged. So um, it really doesn't matter how long you've known somebody or how long you've been together with someone before you get married. It's all in how prepared and how ready you are. Um, me and Zach don't believe in divorce and no one else should either. Divorce is not a way of life and it's not something that you should be like, okay, well, we can get divorced because that's not okay. Like, not only are you damaging your own emotions, you're damaging your significant other's emotions, you're damaging family ties, and, and if you have kids, you're damaging your children, and so it's really hard, and I don't think anyone should go to through divorce or anyone should have to put up with a divorce, and I mean, I know it's going to happen, and it's bound to happen sometimes, but um, to prevent it is to start with the marriage and... Um, be committed and be ready and know that if there's going to be tough times, it's going to be hard, you're going to have, like, you're going to be crazy. Some days you're just not going to want to see each other, you'll be sick of each other. But it's all about how you guys work through it together and that's so important. And make sure you guys talk about things, um, like what you want to do, like where you guys both want to head in the future because that's where you guys are going is in the future together and so you have to figure that out now before you can get there, right? So. Um, it's all, it's, it is what it is, and you just gotta work together. I mean, marriage isn't something that's easy, it's hard, and it's tough, and um, a lot of people think it's just, oh, it's a fairy tale, and all that other jazz, but it's not, and you have to be really ready and committed to do something like a marriage. Um, so from Yurinsa Beast? or pest, sorry, I can't read, the print's so small, I think I'm losing my vision, <laughs> uh, it says, I think if I knew how, or if it was possible, I'd send a wedding gift, seems appropriate given how much your fiancé and you have entertained me over time, and um, that's a question actually for AK, and I believe that Zach is going to be doing something, and he's going to be letting you guys know um, through his PayPal, um, how to, if you want to donate money, or send things, or anything else like that, um, we're willing to accept donations because it is going to be hard for us. We have to move into a house and plan a wedding. And, and starting off fresh for me because I'm losing a lot. And I'll explain that in another video that I have planned for you guys. But um, 
but yeah, um, he'll probably mention something eventually about it. We haven't even done our gift registry for our wedding, so that's going to be something down the road for us to deal with, and, and we will discuss it, and I'm sure I'll discuss it later with you guys in one of our next, uh, like, future wedding vlogs, but we'll get to it, I promise. Um, so yeah, but I know if you do want to send something, he does have his POS box still, so if you do, um, I don't know it off by heart, but... Um, I can link it below, I guess, for you guys. So if you do want to send something, like even if you've, you've made as a card or, or something like that, send it to us POS because that would be so cool to have all that stuff. And um, maybe when we go down there, we can do a, maybe when I go down there in like two weeks, um, we could do like a fan mail thing or, or something like that. So, um, so yeah, that's just an idea, suggestion. Um, next question. This is one I get so often, and I'm going to answer it because I think it's been answered in his, like, um, his live streams and stuff, but if you haven't heard it before, here's the real story of how did we meet? Well, we actually met through one of our friends. We have a mutual friend, uh, David Gay Ferris. He actually has a YouTube channel, so I'll link that down below, just out of respect, and he is such a funny guy, and we were both in, um, one of his live shows on Blog TV, and, um... David was like, oh, you need to talk to Zach, he's so hot, and he's such a nice guy, and so we just started talking from there, and of course things progressed, and we were texting all the time, and then we finally, like, he asked me out, and um, he came up here to Canada, and we hung out in Canada, and it was just awesome, and so we were just perfect for each other. <laughs> it was just a match made in heaven as soon as we met, like, we were so compatible, it was awesome. Um... I have a question, a Twitter question actually, um, from Dark, Dark Wolf, um, 97 is, are you guys going to have kids? Yes, yes we are. <laughs> That's something you definitely need to talk about before you decide you're going to get married, because if you want kids and he doesn't, or vice versa, then it's not going to work out. <laughs> because that's something that you want to do, is have kids and all that stuff, and if your significant other doesn't, then that really puts a strain in your relationship and, and your future plans in life. And so we've definitely talked about having kids and it will definitely be something that we will be doing. And uh, we are also going to have a wiener dog and a corgi and other things and seven wiener dogs with capes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, um, another Twitter question I got was from VGS717 was, did you and, uh, did Zach, you and Zach already set a date? And this is an old question, and I think I answered it already on Twitter, but we have, and I think I've mentioned it in the blogs, too. I don't know. But, uh, April 27th is what we're looking at, and the reason we picked the date was, um, really no big reason at all, other than the weather, weather is not as hot in Arizona in April as it is in a lot of the other months. I didn't want to have a winter wedding, and I, I don't know, spring weddings are really neat, and so, um, it really depends on the venue, to be honest. Uh, if we can get the venue for that day, the 27th, then we'll take it, and that's what we'll do. So, um, we didn't really pick a specific date that was of any significance or anything like that, because, um, it doesn't matter to us. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why we didn't. We just, you know, it wasn't just, it wasn't something that was too concerning. Um. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, oh, I do have a few more, but I don't know where they all are. I've lost a bunch of them. <laughs> to be honest, I wasn't as prepared as I should have been, but that's okay. Um, that's okay, I didn't really want to make this video too long. Anyways, I did have another one, actually, that I probably won't find, and I apologize. Um, where did I put it? I think I put it in my documents, and I didn't. Anyways, it was a question. I lost it. I have it on file here somewhere. Um, I definitely won't be able to find it because I don't know where I put it. Um, but it was a question about citizenships and all that stuff. Oh, here it is. Of course I found it. Of course now I find it. Okay, so it was from Crimson Blood C S S C of oh, Dyslexic. Okay. Um, so how are you going to work out the border rules of you being a Canadian citizen and AK being an American citizen? And are you getting a citizenship? Um 
Well, yes, I'm getting a citizenship. <laughs> I'm moving to Arizona that we've talked about before, I'm pretty sure. And um, so we just last week or so filed our K-1 forms, and that's a fiancé visa that allows me to, as soon as um, I move into the country, after three months we get married and I make adjustments, giving me temporary status, yada, yada, yada. So um, that's something that I definitely, it's a big topic and I don't want to cover on here because it gets longed out and dragged out and that's something of particular interest for people who are either traveling abroad or people who are looking into visas and whatnot and all that other stuff in long distance relationships like me and Zach. So that's going to be in a totally different video. I'm going to do that before I leave here on vacation. I'll post that video for you guys. I don't have a set date on it because I really don't know what I'm going to get around to doing it all. It's a big topic and it's very stressful, but if you want to get started on it now, if you're interested in what me and Zach are doing and, and you have a relationship with someone across the borders, um, it doesn't even have to be American. It can be from, they can be from Norway, they can be from Sweden, who knows, but um, uh, I'm going to put some links down below for you. There's um, visajourney.com, I believe, and that's uh, that one has really helped us out understanding the forms because the forms get a little complicated and stuff so they really helped us understand what we needed to do, what we needed to file and it was free information which was so awesome. That's the way life should be, right? Every All the information should be free, but it's not, right? Um, so we did that. Um, there's also CanucksAbroad.ca and that's for Canadian citizens only. Um, it just teaches Canadians how to travel borders, whether it's to the UK or Australia or wherever else. And it's a form uh, type scenario. Shh, phone. <laughs> it's a form type scenario. And it just kind of like, it asks questions and people answer them and stuff like that. So the sources might not be as reliable there, but it does give you insight on what other people are experiencing. And sometimes they link really valuable information. So definitely check that out as well. Um, and of course, the best source that you could possibly do is actually going to the either whatever embassy it is that you're going to either go to the embassy call the embassy go to the website so I think it's US embassy um, dot com or something I don't remember what we used um, but they were so informational um, they give you all the forms that you can print out oh here it is it is called the USCIS dot government or GOV um, and it's the US Citizen and Immigration Services that's their website, and on there it gives you all the forms you need, all the resources, the laws, um, about them, what they do, how to file things properly, because it is a huge procedure. So they were really great and awesome, and of course, because I'm going to the U.S., it's really important to know from the actual source. So that's where we went for a lot of our information and our forms and whatnot, so that's for you guys as well. And, and if you want something more not web-based, you can actually talk to an immigration lawyer, but the problem is, is they can get a little sketchy, and I'll mention that as well in the video, so we'll go deeper into that process when I get there, <laughs> and when when I make that video, because it is a very, very important video, and, and it's actually the maker or breaker on how me and Zach are going to be together, so um, that is so important, and it's important for anybody knowing that they love somebody that's across the way, that there is going to be some restrictions and some ties and stuff like that and things you need to follow with each country's policies and procedures so that's really important to know and I'll let you guys know about all that stuff on another video but I think that's it for now um, so if you guys have any new questions or any more comments or anything else you want to ask you can reach me at Twitter um, at Catbell Design or you can leave me a comment down below on my YouTube or you can leave me a message, or you can go on my Facebook and leave me a message on my Cat Bell Designs uh, favorites page, or whatever they're called. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> but, um, or even on the blog. So, the blog, which is catbelldesigns.com, you can leave it on there. And ask me anything, and I will answer them all for you. And some of them will make the video, some of them I'll just answer personally. So, um... So no fear, and if you do have a video question, you can totally bring those in, and, and I will post them on my video as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you guys learned something today. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye!